Well, let's have a look at this homemade evaporative air cooler. Half fan, half evaporative air cooler. It's a very large Digilex fan. I think it says Digilex, doesn't it? This is made by an electronics engineer friend of mine as an experiment. It's a big Digilex fan bought from the shop or eBay or somewhere. And it's had metal housing put around it. It's got it's got this. Where is it? It's got this. It's encased in metal. So you've got a fan here on the stand, a big heavy fan, and it's on the stand. And this is the housing around it. So it's sort of like a turbine. And and of course it's on a circuit breaker. So, um, you know, there's no danger about getting, getting an electric shock or anything where water is concerned and a fan is concerned. It's a sort of homemade evaporative cooler air conditioner fan. Uh, it's, as I said, it's got this, what would you call it, housing of metal. Is it, is it aluminium or iron? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's three blades and the motor part has got a bucket, a plastic bucket over it to protect it from water splashing or anything. Let's have a look at the back of it. This is the side where you reach in to turn it on. Oops. So it's got three settings. That's, they're the settings of the fan. As you see, there's plastic bucket to house the motor of the fan. This is all very low budget. It's all very low budget. You've got wood shavings here. Wood shavings in a sort of uh, netting. And there's a, there's a pump here. There's water uh, pumped up through this plastic pipe. And uh, there's an electric pump turned on as well. A, a submersible electric pump turned on as well as, well as the fan got to turn both of them on together. There's the submersible pump just there. Over here in this corner that's a submersible pump. I'll just turn it on for fun. Oops. So it's dribbling now. It's dribbling water through those wood shavings. This is all very low cost do-it-yourself swamp cooler I suppose you'd call it. And it's huge, it's enormous, and it's very cooling, but it is a bit noisy. And so you've got, oops, you've got this trough underneath that the water drips into, and it's sucked up again through the, um, that little submersible pump. And that's about it, really, if you think about it. The submersible pump sucks up water to the top, and then it all dribbles down through the wood shavings, just like a normal swamp cooler. And there's a huge fan in there. <laughs> Let's turn the fan on again. Like any swamp cooler, you have to fill it up occasionally. It's going to run empty occasionally. So, there's a bucket down here for filling it up. See? And you just fill the trough occasionally. I'm not sure why that gauze is over the trough. There must be a reason for that. I'm not the brains who built this. I'm not that brainy. But anyway, as you can see, it's dribbling. And it's very, it's amazingly cool. The only thing you have to do, the only work you have to do is fill it up occasionally. That's all you've got to do. It's very low cost. It's cheaper than buying a, uh, an, um, a big swamp cooler. It only involves, what, some wood shavings, some mesh at the back. What sort of mesh was that? I think for like, like for growing vines up. The whole thing is encased in a sort of some sheet metal. 
and it's on a stand with a trough underneath. And it works very well. It's very cooling. Let's go around the front and turn it on. So here we go. Here it goes. really cool and it was fun to make and I didn't make it of course because I'm not that brainy but it's lots of fun you can see that the um you can see in there there's there's the whole thing there's the motor and uh, the water all drips safely into the trough that's about it really It's got three blades, like the front of an aeroplane, except it doesn't travel. And it's beautifully cool, but a little bit noisy. But in a big space like this, it keeps the place very cool. See you then. Warning, don't try this at home unless you're a qualified electrical engineer or electronics engineer. Don't try this at home. <laughs>